three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this Wednesday installment of We Talk. I'm Yolanda Nell and I will be your host for today. For today's interview segment, we are heading all the way to China and our colleague Enzo is speaking to the Namibian ambassador to China there. So do stay tuned for that as he is discussing the very important relationship Namibia has with China and since when this partnership started. But first up, we have the news. In today's news segment, we will be taking a look at the Capricorns Foundation Food Waste Challenge. Entries closed on Friday, the 12th of August, and they received 101 entries. Followed by that is the Namibia Green Hydrogen Conference currently underway in the capital, and that actually concludes today. The Capricorn Foundation announced the successful conclusion of entries for its Food Waste Challenge. In line with its vision to be connectors of positive change, the foundation previously called for innovative solutions from the public to reduce food waste in Namibia to help address the problem of food insecurity when it officially launched the Capricorn Foundation Food Waste Challenge at the end of June. They are pleased to announce that 422 people registered for the challenge and that 101 submissions were formally entered. These submissions included individual, team and business entity participation. The Food Waste Challenge was based on an open innovation platform offering $100,000 Namibian dollars for the winning solution. The Capricorn Foundation sought ideas for reducing food waste in Namibia that could create new possibilities in addressing the basic need of food security for the most vulnerable people in Namibia and positively impact society to improve the quality of life of many Namibians. On Friday the 12th of August the end is closed and all the submitted and completed proposals will be evaluated on a theoretical basis through an expert panel. Of the entries, 19 entries is in the collecting category, while 15 is in the distributing category, 8 entries is in the storing category, while a massive 59 entries is in the other category. Of the 101 entries, 20% of the entries were submitted by teams and 80% were submitted by individuals. Most of the entries were from Namibia, but there were also entries from South Africa, Botswana and Kenya. Participants who entered the challenge can expect the judging for round 1 to conclude on the 9th of September. During this three-week process, a shortlist will be created. Round 2 will take place from the 13th of September until the 27th of September, which will include the evaluation of the shortlisted candidates by a panel of experts. Finally, the announcement of the winning entry is expected to occur on the 7th of October this year. According to Marlies Horn, executive officer of the Capricorn Foundation, through this challenge, they set out to find new possibilities that will provide original and impactful solutions for any part of the total value chain from collecting food waste from sources, verifying suitability for human consumption and distributing the food to receivers and distributors, where it can be further used or distributed to beneficiaries. They are grateful for the overwhelming positive response to the challenge and it is clear that many Namibians are passionate about finding a solution to the problem of food waste. Identifying the winning solution is only the beginning of a process that they hope will address food insecurity of the most vulnerable of society. They look forward to support the implementation of the winning solution as soon as possible. To the Namibia Green Hydrogen Conference that is starting in the capital on Tuesday and concluding on Wednesday. Let's go check what it's all about.
The Economic Association of Namibia, in collaboration with the Namibia Investment Promotion and Development Board of Namibia, with support from the Hans Siedl Foundation, are proud to announce the Namibia Green Hydrogen Conference for this year. And this will take place on the 16th and 17th of August and will be entirely funded with support from the private sector and non-governmental organizations. It will be a platform for Namibian stakeholders to deliberate and unpack the green hydrogen in industry while promoting Namibia as a competitive investment destination. The conference, which will bring together policymakers and parliamentarians, the private sector, academics, the civil society, as well as the public. Green hydrogen is becoming a critical source of energy in global energy markets, playing an increasingly central role in the transition to a green energy future. With usage in diverse areas such as transport, manufacturing and the chemical industry, green hydrogen is expected to play a central role in transforming global industries as countries around the world are seeking to decarbonize the economies. During this conference, stakeholders will look at Namibia's potential as a green hydrogen investment destination, as well as the micro and macroeconomic opportunities, challenges and the risks of large-scale investments in green hydrogen for a small and developing economy. Economy. They will also take a look at the legal and regulatory framework required to facilitate the successful development of a green hydrogen economy in Namibia. Other discussion points will include infrastructure, human resources, value change, finance as well as foreign direct investment. And this is it between Namibia and China didn't start uh, after independence, it started a long time ago in the 60s when uh, Comrade President Sem Yoma came to China to look for assistance for guerrillas in Zambia and Tanzania. And that time he met Mao Zedong. Mao Zedong is the founding father of, uh, of, of China. And uh, the, one of the established uh, ideology, ideology direct us to directing the ideology of uh, socialism. So, and, and since then, our relationship has been going on well. And after, in the, after independence, immediately after independence, we established diplomatic relations with China, and uh, our embassy was established in 1995. But since then, we've been having uh, visitors from high-level uh, delegations from Namibia and from China to visit our respective capitals. So this is, is excellent. And all the other uh, presidents that follow uh, Pahamba, the former president, and current president visited China on several occasions to maintain this uh, relationship. The president visited China in 2018 on an official visit to China and uh, a relationship was established on another level, comprehensive strategic relationship between Namibia and uh, China. Please. No, 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 there was, there was not, no, no difficulties. You see, I, as, a, as a veteran of the struggle, we talk about challenges. Challenges. <laughs> the challenges I've been uh, having here in this office is students. Our students coming here, to study with different uh, aims and objectives. Some of them, they don't behave according to the rules of, of China. Some are uh, uh, doing other things that they are not supposed to do. And then every time, every week, you have a problem with the students who either uh, lost his passport or uh, his passport uh, was uh, disappearing with un un unknown reasons or they, they, are fight, they are going to drink and fight in the bar 
and we, we as embassy have to intervene. And the other challenges we, 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 uh, we, we had is the, the, the fact that uh, uh, as the people we have a, a good relationship with China, we allow our, our China friends visit to go to Namibia, but some, sometimes they don't also respect our rules in Namibia, they overstay or they undermine our laws. So, and the, the other one, I, the other challenge is the COVID. Since uh, 2020, we have a COVID uh, challenges that we could not uh, do our work properly because we could not move to the regions and uh, meet people. Our uh, people could not come to here to follow up on uh, business uh, and so on. And the, the, other, the other most challenge is also our business people. The, you see, I want this, this one to be, to be full appreciated. Our people are doing business with this street Chinese in Namibia. You see, you must know that not every China in Namibia is a, is a Communist Party member. Not Ch every Chinese in Namibia is a, is a good to pass like, just like Namibia. What I'm trying to say is that uh, not all the Chinese come to Namibia are going there for good cause. Now, they are, some of them are, are uh, Zula boys, Zula girls. Now they, they do business with our people there on the street, agree, give each other money without informing the government, without going to the embassy. And now when the, the Chinese disappear with their money, they come to us and complain. What I'm trying to say is that uh, uh, our people must do business in good faith with, with the established conduct, established uh, channels like the Embassy of Namibia in China, Embassy of, Namibia, embassy of China in Namibia, the uh, Chamber of Commerce, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Namibia. What I'm saying is they must deal with the established, uh, approved uh, channels. So now if they don't do it, they, they deal with the Zula boys on the street, and then when their money disappears, they come to us and they want us to recover their money. We've been having those, those, those challenges. What I'm saying is they must make sure that uh, they follow the established channels and inform the embassy when they do business and uh, we are ready to help them. Oh, no, the achievement uh, of, of which you are very proud is that uh, Namibia is a known, is a home, home word in China. You, I'm sure you, you notice when you, everywhere you come about Namibia, they will tell you, oh, Namibia, Namibia. Uh, Namibia was the first country allowed to, to bring beef in China up to now. So it was one of, one of the achievements. And also the other achievement is uh, Namibia under our leadership as a, as a mission here, we complete the harbor. The harbor was uh, completed in, in, our, in our term, in our regime time, in our time of, of, as ambassador here. And uh, we are proud about those achievements because we, we refer to our harbor as the hub for Southern Africa. So it's one of our, 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 our achievement. And the other achievement is, uh, the, I'm sure when you go to the airport, you see the, the improvement of the airport. The, it was done uh, with the assistance of China and they, they are still uh, uh, going to assist us to improve so we have a better airport. Yeah, no, it's not only recently. China, since I came here in 2016, China has been vocal on uh, banning of uh, ivory. They, they, they don't uh, entertain uh, those trade at all. And I'm quite happy about that one. So uh, also, it was also during my term of office when uh, China helped us with the, with the assistance of uh, helping our people at home on, 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 on uh, blocking those uh, thugs who are killing our animals for horns. So what I'm saying is that uh, China have been vocal on uh, banning and uh, have nothing to do with the every, 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 every treat. So what I'm saying is that uh, China is, is quite, quite supportive in this one. And uh, all the things that has to do with the horn are bent here.
For today's life hack, if you want to ripen your tomatoes quicker, all you have to do is place a ripe banana in the bag with the tomatoes and there you have it. Your tomatoes will be ready to be used within a day or so. Next up, we have Jeanette Dierhardt for your Flex Minute. You know, a few weeks ago, I would never do this on a Saturday morning. Back then, I was standing in line all day. Now it's just like that. Mm, you are using the FNB banking app like I told you. Girl, it saved my weekend. Now I can do all my banking on this. Payments, transfers, checking statements, even opening accounts. Just, just like, like that. that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I tell you what my husband even did? Even me. Even me, I want to save time with the, what's the name of the app? FNB app. Don't be left behind. Make the switch to the FNB app, online banking or cell phone banking and change the way you bank to change your life. FNB, how can we help you? Welcome back everyone, I'm Jeanette Dierkhardt, your presenter for Flex and today we will be stretching out our shoulders. So a pose that really helps for everything is a child's pose. So this one serves many purposes and it's just a oh, great stretch. Okay, so go into a child's pose. So with this, you walk out your fingers or walk out with your fingertips a bit and you'll feel that stretch in your shoulder blades. You'll feel it in your back. This is also a great stretch to stretch that glutes. So really an amazing stretch. So if you just want to do this, sit in a child's pose when you wake up. Great way to wake that body up. Okay, so now we are also gonna do a little bit of an, another type of Krauss pose. So I just want to show you guys on the side here. So twisted arm and stretch that shoulder. So this one feels amazing if you have any shoulder problems do this it will really help a lot you feel it in your shoulders you feel it in your shoulder blades you also feel it in your arms so if there's any tension in your muscles you'll definitely feel it in your biceps or your triceps as well okay so this is also again a great way to cool down while working out or just to stretch out that arms if you don't have the full range of motion then you don't have to go as far you can literally just go as far as your back allows. If you can't fill that gap, it's okay. <laughs> just do the stretch and enjoy it. Okay, that brings us to the end of this one. I'll see you guys next time. Voor vandagse aanbeveling kyk ons bykie na die boere droogte op Mark wat op die 16 september by die wind to golf en country club gaan plaas vind van 12 uur die middag tot 9 uur die avond. Nou, allemaal weet dat boere in alle gemeenskappe van kardinale belang is en behalwe vir die droogte en het die ekonomie ook een onzaglijke groot inpak op die boere en die producten wat hulle kan lewer. As jy handgemaakte items, bultong, vlees, enige peeselhappies, sowel as wijn en speelgoed het, wat jy kan verkoop, dan kan jy een stalliekie spasie bespreek by Audrey, kostes beloop 300 Namibiese dollar en Dit gaan net een heerlijke, lekker marktdag wees vir die hele familie. 
Daar zal ook kleren beschikbaar wees wat gekoop kan worden, zowel als juwelen in wat is een markt dan nou zonder lekker goed in een jaarlijke koek om aan te smal. So, Contact voor Audrey, raak betrokken. En als jij niet een stalletje wil bespreken, nie, maak een knoop in je oor voor 16 september bij de Winter Country Club. Dit gaan een jaarlijke geleentheid wees. Bookings for Namibia Tourism Expo 2022 are open. The expo will take place from 3 to 5 November 2022 in Windhoek. To secure your booking, visit nte.nmh.com.na and for more information on the expo, follow all Namibia media holdings platforms. The expo is supported by the Ministry of Environment, Tourism and Forestry, Namibia Tourism Board, Fenata, City of Windhoek and and Namibia Media Holdings, Namibia Tourism Expo, taking tourism to the regions. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all from my side for today. I hope you had fun. Please join us again tomorrow for a brand new interview and a recommendation. Goodbye.